As for education, breaking overnight, homeschool funding ended up passing as an add-on to a school opioid prevention bill. Now, you'll remember this follows a Superior Court ruling that it was unconstitutional to use public funds for religious or private school expenses. House Bill 202 requires the Board of Education adopt regulations consistent with the Alaska Constitution. Departments or districts will be required to submit annual reports, including student numbers, demographic information, and track spending along with assessment and proficiency scores. However, there's no specific language forbidding public funds from being used for religious or private education expenses. A comprehensive crime package supporters say will combat Alaska's fentanyl crisis heads to the governor. House Bill 66 supporters, including Governor Dunleavy, say increasing drug dealer and drug maker sentences if there's an overdose death will target the problem. Opponents say longer sentences will not help get to the root of the issue. Now, as for the series of bills supporters had proposed dealing with what they call a future Cook Inlet natural gas crisis, House Bill 50 is being sent to the governor. It includes a new loan program to encourage more natural gas production. And House Bill 307 also passed by lawmakers. Supporters say it will modernize the rail belt electric grid and eventually say it would lower power bills. Also new this morning, Governor Dunleavy issuing a statement saying, we are proud to have passed several bills this session that move Alaska forward. My administration will spend the interim preparing new initiatives for next session on public safety, education reform, expanding the agriculture sector, and much more.